Good evening and thank you for joining us. Members of the Anishinaabe Aski Nation are expressing frustration with how the Thunder Bay Police Service has been investigating a pair of tragic incidents involving Aboriginal teens. A media conference was held today by NAN along with leaders from several First Nation communities regarding the disappearance of Josiah Begg and the tragic death of Tammy Kiash. Louisa Alvarez reports. Please come back, Josiah. It's been over a week since the disappearance of 14-year-old Josiah Begg. The investigation remains open as police continue to seek tips and volunteers scour the city searching. But with no new leads or answers to help ease the minds of the family, Grand Chief Alvin Fiddler hopes a public call-out will lead to not only a more coordinated search effort, but a more thorough one. While we have many, many volunteers coming forward, it, it, it's not a coordinated search. And uh, people are forced to just go wherever they, 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 they have a hunch that, they, that he may be. That there has to be a search that on, that's on the ground, but also in the air. Heading the investigation is Detective Staff Sergeant Ryan Hughes. He says the search efforts will be expanded with an OPP helicopter and underwater recovery unit. He also adds police continue to meet daily with Josiah's family to flow information between the two parties. Uh, is it frustrating? Definitely. It's frustrating for the family. It's frustrating for the police. We can't find them. So they're getting stuff from uh, their family. They, they share with us. We get information. We share with them. It's definitely, it's definitely frustrating because we're all working towards finding Josiah and it, and it hasn't happened so far. Meanwhile, the Anishinaabe Yaski Nation refuses to accept the coroner's post-mortem findings that 17-year-old Tammy Kiash drowned as the final conclusion in the case. Her body was found in the Nebing McIntyre floodway on May 7th, about six hours after she was reported missing by her boarding home. The coroner found no evidence of foul play and Tammy's mother revealed the girl's alcohol levels were very high at the time of her death. But the family remains unsatisfied with the conclusion and they're prepared to solicit outside help. The family is asking for, uh, they want uh, a private investigator to come in and to re-examine uh, the case and to uh, try to find out uh, uh, what really happened because uh, for the police to say that was simply a drowning is uh, something that the family is, uh, is not prepared to accept at this time. Many unanswered questions remain in both cases and other similar cases of youth that have gone missing have been brought up. To understand why it all keeps happening, the Anishinaabe Yaski Nation continues to call for an inquest into Kiash's death and others that have died while in care. Louisa Alvarez, TBT News.